In this video, we'll do another update on the Hooked protocol and the Hook token. We'll talk about whether it's possible to actually get a bull run or a rally with Hook, um, or whether this is just going to consolidate and drop down after a while, like most new listings do. So let's get right into it. First of all, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to the channel, and welcome to this uh, to this update. Um, we'll also be talking a little bit about who, what Hook protocol is. Now, I've covered Hook protocol a lot. You can also check out my video on what it is exactly. Um, I made a video going, going really into depth on it. It's obviously, it was launched on the Binance Launchpad. The thing is, I mean, Hook Protocol is basically like an application that allows people to learn for money. That's very easily said, but it's, it's, it's that to people new to crypto, but also you and I, uh, we can use their Wild Cash app. That's the name of the, of the app, which I don't really like, but still. You can use that and you can actually be incentivized to learn and to do quizzes around crypto. Um, so I think the, the, the project has a lot of potential. Market cap is right now at $122 million. I, st I think in the future, uh, this could be way higher, depending on how they actually develop their solutions, uh, obviously. Um, but apart from that, uh, the volume right now is 500 million. So there's, there's a lot going on at around hook and there's still a lot of big listings to come. Right now it's only listed on Binance and Bing X where it's getting some, vo some, some, some volume. But this will be listed on all the other major exchanges as well, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, now, we will do a price analysis as well, but I must say that, that we'll be doing it on like the five minute time frame. Arguably, I could do it to 15. Yeah, I'll probably do it to 15. But first, I wanted to show you my recap of what I said yesterday. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I, I think we talked about the fundamentals enough. I think we talked about the project enough. But if you have, excuse me, I'm a little bit tired. Um, but if you have any um, if you have any questions about it, you can always ask me that. So what I said yesterday is yesterday I did the analysis like right here. And what I said is that uh, like this was actually from there is that we would test this level here at 2.3 and 2.35. If we could break above that, we could we would probably get all the way up to 2.75, which we did. So that was pretty accurate. But I mean, it's a five minute time frame. It only adds value for the next two or three hours. Uh, so let's actually get to the 15 minute time frame and then this analysis is still correct uh, because very important levels are like 2.5, 2.35, 2.25 arguably, um, but also 2.75. Uh, 2 so, so the thing which we want to do and want, what we want to explore is whether we can actually get to $3. And in all honesty, um, it looks like right now after hitting 2.75 that we have kicked off some bearish momentum, right? We're making lower highs. Arguably, this uh, this resistance touch at, at 2.55 is all, also already a, a lower high. So what's going to happen now is we're going to be dropping down to this level right here, 2.35, 2.3. We will probably find some support there. But if we then do not, if, if we're not able to break above 2.5 from that level, what's going to happen is that it's it's just a matter of time. It's like a ticking bomb. It's a matter of time before we drop down through 2.3 and start dropping all the way down, down to 2.05 and two dollars. Now. The thing is, all right, it, so the most important level is 2.3 and 2.35, because what could also happen, and excuse me, my uh, the webcam is a little bit blurry right now, hopefully you don't mind. Um, what, what could also happen is that we will drop down there, find support, or don't close above that. Do not close above 2.5 initially, but that we will close above that uh, a little bit later. If that happens, we're still going up to $3, probably, all right? So it all depends on that and whether we are actually able to break above 2.5 again from there or not. And we have to break above 2.5 relatively quickly, quickly, right? We need to do that in the next like four hours after uh, finding support there. Um, but yeah, so, so that's another take on the Hook protocol, a little bit of taking a look at the price, but also talking about the project a little bit more. For now, I want to wish you all a great day. And as you, if you have any questions, as I said, let me know. Uh, but for now, take care and bye.